Hi, Mr. Knuckles Music Lessons. It's going to be Mother Goose by Jethro Tull from the Aqualung album way back in the mid-70s. Great old classic album. If for you younger people that don't know Jethro Tull, go listen to some Jethro Tull if you like guitar and you like hard rock. I mean, they did some really hard stuff, but they also did some beautifully melodic acoustic stuff as well. Uh, I would recommend the Aqualung album and also Heavy Horses, but there's a whole bunch of really good albums. But those two are special. Um, so this one is, again, Mother Goose off the Aqualung album, and it's going to sound something like this. So there's a few little parts to it. Uh, let's get started. I'll break it down for you, and then we'll play the song. So it starts in kind of an A chord without the, the B string at the second, so the B string's open, but the rest is an A chord. And you're going to pluck it, you're going to uh, strum it like this, and I've been having a hard time trying to explain this and show it at the same time. But you're going to start by um, playing the A string, and then playing the whole chord. And then you pull off and back on to the chord. Whoops. And then play the A and the chord again. All right? A lot of guys that I've seen on YouTube are just uh, hammering on the D, and you're really concentrating on that D note for the hammer on. All right? I just tend to take both my fingers off and put the chord right back on. And then when you're finished that part, there's a little up down up on which which is what basically turns out to be like a G chord except it's just the bottom two strings I mean you can catch the th third string and it won't matter but you got to play the bottom two strings and I tend to use my pinky for that weirdly I don't know why I picked that up but anyways all right So you got to get used to doing that because it happens throughout the entire song. And then there's a little riff that comes in with it when the singing starts. Uh, and the riff is starting kind of, well, it's really the only thing you're playing, uh, the only uh, string you're playing is the D string. It starts on A, open A. Then you're going to play the D at the second. Then you're going to pluck it again and slide up to the fourth. Then you're going to play open G, open B, back to open G. And then there's a little riff on the D string that goes like this. So that's just play it open, hammer on to the second, hammer on to the fourth, and then play it open again. All right, that's a little bit tough to get the timing there, uh, but the whole thing sounds like this. Whoop. Okay, and then from there you go to the C. Um, so let's try it again. It goes like this. C, dog, cat, dog, cat, back to the chord. Again. Cat, dog, and then you pull these two fingers off. Cat, Next, the chorusy part starts in a D. Okay, so you're kind of just playing the chord. Then you're going to grab the A string at the fourth. So then you're going to play the D again, and then the A at the second, 
and then D again, and then cat. Whoops, sorry, not cat. A, A, G. So it's down, up, down, up, and then on D, down, up, down, up, with muting at the end of that, both of those. And then you play an A seventh. I believe it's an A seventh. It might be a straight up A, uh, but it sounds like an A seventh to me. All right, so the whole thing is just regular D chord, A string, D string, whoops, A string, D string, A string, G, D, A7. What, you play the A7? All right. So it's down. I did the down up down ups correctly, but see if you can get a feel for that. That's a C. All right, C, and then you just pull off and back on on the D string. Let's try and explain this last little lick, and then we'll put them all together and play the song. So this happens twice in the song. It's pretty quick. Um, so you're going to start on the, uh, sorry, you're going to start on the B string at the first fret, and you're going to hammer on to the third, and then you're going to pick up that E without taking your finger off here, and back to the B string at the third. All right. Second time around, it goes. So you hammer on and then pick up the E but go back to the first fret on the B and down to the second fret on the G so together whoop all right and then the second part of that lick is D string at the second and you're gonna play the D G and B string whoop so then at the fourth on the D So you're both times you're playing each of these three strings D G B D G B and then from there you're gonna go uh, back to the second fret on the D pull off well pluck them both and then down to the A string at the third uh, and then you're gonna play A D G so, so far we have this. And then go to the second fret on the A string. Whoop. Open G note on the top E string. And back to A. All right. All together. So all together it sounds like this, if I can pull it off, I'm, it must be late or something, I'm making a lot of mistakes. Whoop. It's a lot faster than that on the recording if you're trying to play along. I can't usually do it quite properly. Again, it would be nice if you were doing some finger picking, especially on these little trills here, or whatever they're called. If you could finger pick that, one, two, three, one, two, three. Um, where do we go? One, two, three. So that's the entire song, and I better just play it before I make any more mistakes, because I've made too many. All right? 
apologize for wasting your time if it's taken too long. Here we go.